What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. 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 Are there any cool combo cards in here? I think we're just taking Minsk and Boo. I think this card is just fantastic. It's a combo with itself. Stormix said, not that I think very highly of current design. I actually think very, very highly of current design. Like, you you got to consider they make missteps, but the, the number, the sheer number of sets Magic d Design is designing currently is extremely high. And whether you agree with that or not, whether you think there should be a slowdown, whether you think there should be fewer sets released, the fact is, like, they're balancing things very, very well. I mean, I think Lord of the Rings is an incredibly balanced set with a few mistakes. Maybe the One Ring's a little too powerful. Orcish Bowmasters is a little too powerful. But, like, there's a lot of things going right. Oh, we're just playing, oh, Fourth Era Lingus for sure. Oh, man, the One Ring, Palace Jailer, Fourth Era Lingus. This is a pack. Oh, we're definitely taking Fourth Era Lingus. This card is a beating. And we just we just got beat by it last draft. I mean, we won the we won the round, but we lost the battle, but we won the war. You know, I'm eating a little trail mix. I'm trying to chew away from the mic so that the ASMR haters don't uh, get triggered. What's a cat shoe? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't think they put cat shoes in trail mix. I think because it's too top tier. So we got peanuts. M&Ms, which are actual M&Ms, not just like M&M, uh, M&M copies. It literally has got the M on there. So that's impressive. Do you want a taiga? I feel like it's taiga here. Could also be Jitte in case we get like a, Stoneforge Mystic, but I think I'd rather just have a land that's... You turn away from the mic to... <laughs> I think it's Breathe, right? You turn away from the mic to Breathe. Like Tezande. That's an old... Do I want this Omnath? Are we going to get Omnath Omnasty with it? Omnathsty with it. <laughs> so, so I'm just so glad you fucking got that reference and you made it. That's hilarious. I think we're taking Omnath Omnathsty. Because when do you get a chance? And it goes so well with our first two cards. Meanwhile, I'm going to take every on-color signet slash talisman I can find. I guess not slash. We're not taking talisman. We're not taking signets. We're taking just talismans. Savannah. I really like Deep Root Wayfinder, man. I want to try it. But <clears throat> Delightful Halfling <clears throat> also seems really good here. I think we're taking Delighted Halfling and hoping that the Savannah comes back. Because it's a savanna, and if unless Rob is in our in our queue, then it should be fine. Hypergenesis is banned in modern because it's literally just a better. Um, it's a better living end. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is really good, and it's also a three drop, and it's also, it's not legendary though, it's historic. But you can slot the colorless. Um, shit. Ah, oh, this pack is really cool. I like Andurl a lot. I don't think it's, we're an Andurl deck. I do like, I think it's Fable. Although this does cast like all three of our spells. I think it's Fable. Fable's super strong. Temple Garden.
Oh man, I would love to. I would love for Rob to visit. That would be a blast. I'm also going to copy that and send it to him. Now, let's take Temple Garden. Beautiful. Sacred Foundry too. Oh man, and a Talisman of Unity, huh? I like the Talisman because it gets us from two to four. I like the Sacred Foundry because it just fixes our mana. What do you guys think? Talisman or Foundry? You got 11 seconds. I think Triome is just worse than Sacred Foundry here. All right, we're taking Talisman. Sigarda. Angels and humans, huh? Well, we don't have any of those yet. However, it's still not bad. I think it's better than I think it's better than Giver of Runes. I got so excited, I was like, oh, we got a Celestial Colonnade. Actually, Celestial Colonnade's not bad. We do have an Omnath. We'll take a Colonnade. None of these are super exciting. We'll take the Titan. I think it's better than Avenger in our deck. Oh, Monastery Swift Spear. Perfect for our deck. Uh, blue is obviously the splash color. You should know this. It's only, it's only one blue card, right? We're just Naya Splash Blue, right? God, there's such an overabundance of peanuts. Peanuts are good, but they're just... God, they're just everywhere. I kind of like Figure of Destiny here. Oh, Sabine's Reclamation. That's That could be interesting. Being able to get back a Fable of the Mirror Breaker after it's run its course is pretty good. Hmm. A Tundra, an on-color Talisman. Fascinating. Yeah, old Moist, moist Naya. I kind of like Tundra here. Then again, Talisman. I think it's I think it's Talisman. Like another on color Talisman just feels too good. No, oh, Mox Diamond feels good. We didn't take Sacred Foundry. I think we're actually gonna maybe we take Plateau here. Again, it's like such a such a relevant land for us. What are we gonna? How, we can't even cast this. Is double blue seven mana? I do like this one. I think Inspired is one of the cooler ones. It feels like it's actually like impactful enough. Oh, I love a Mox Diamond, but I think it's actually Plateau here. Interesting. Orcish Bowmasters. Probably the best card in the pack, but we're not splashing black. He said rhymingly. Might just be Vista. Seems correct. Winds of Abandon feels good. It's also like the only remotely playable card in here that would fit our deck reasonably. But I'm okay with it. I also think Magma Opus is definitely playable here.
Also, Vista goes well with um, Omnath, so that was a... I like S Escape to the Wilds. That seems great here. Also, Lightning Bolt. I think I like Escape better. Feels more impactful. Really, War Song is strong. I'm, I wasn't impressed as a card, but maybe... I mean, I could be wrong. This feels like an easy Sylvan Library pick. Council's Judgment also very, very good, though. I think we can't pass up a Sylvan Library in a four-color deck, though. Like, the, the fixing that's going to be taking place there is just a little too good. Is this three or less, right? Yeah. All right, sweet. So we can go back, like, Sylvan Library or Fable or Delighted Halfling. Mm. A braid seems fine. So does Wall of Omens, actually. I kind of like Wall of Omens here. Neon Tokyo, I did... I did 3-0. Ooh, I like a stomping ground here. Yeah, that's an easy pick. Especially when we're so heavy green and red. Wheel of Fish! Anybody get that reference? It was UHF. Wow, good call, my dude. Yeah, with Weird Al and uh, Michael Michael Richards. Looks like I, I hurt myself somehow. It's when you arrange Swedish fish in a circle and dance in the middle. Nailed it. What do we got here? Knight of the Reliquary, which I actually I actively don't like. I'm tempted to take Batter Skull in case we open a Stone Forge. I really wonder if this is like just fine. Maybe I get out of my comfort zone and take Knight of the Reliquary, especially with Omnath and um Omnath. The rest go into the graveyard? Oh, God. Oh, let's take Touch the Spirit Realm. Gets rid of a creature. Friend came over with the dog. <laughs> awesome. Sounds like a treat. Oh, none of these cards are exciting. I'll take Ashen Rider. Lightning Bolt came back. Actually, all three of these are pretty decent. Hero of Bladehole just wins games. I think I'd rather have the flexibility of like, wow, Fiery Confluence came back? That was not one of the two cards I thought was coming back. This is looking like a sweet Naya deck. Splashing blue. I feel like so far we got a lot of sweet, impactful cards. So that's always a good feeling. Hmm. Well, we were going to take Batter Skull. And I think both Kaldatha Reforged. Kaldatha, no, Kaldatha, what's that thing? Uh, not, no, what's it? Kaldra, Kaldra, Kaldra Complete? <laughs> what the fuck was I even saying? Calder Complete is gone, and so is Batter Skull. So, Stoneforge is just worse. I think it's Apparition. Or it could be Krakus, actually. Yeah, Calder Complete was in pack one. I believe it was in pack one, pick one. And we just passed Batter Skull for, like, a probably Lightning Bolt, or... I think it was Knight of the Reliquary, actually. <sighs> I'm stating cards, not saying you should pick them. My mistake. 
think Apparition's really good. I think this might come back, but Apparition actually fills a pretty solid role in our deck. Bird of Paradise seems fantastic. So does Fury. Oh, let's hear about Mike B's favorite chip. What's your top five chips? What's your number one chip? Number one chip? Yeah, man. I think it might be jalapeno chips. Really? Yeah. Like, like kettle I think it's got to be bird. Kettle corn ones. Kettle corn baked. That's not what it is. I feel like nothing you're saying is actually kettle English. corn. Kettle corn chips with jalapeno. Are they kettle flavor. cooked? Kettle corn? Kettle cooked. Yeah, <laughs> kettle cooked chips that are jalapenos. Kettle corn chips. Or maybe the sriracha honey ones. Those are good too. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I kind of like night here. Scalding tarn gets plateau, stomping taiga, temple. Actually, it's probably scalding tarn, right? Yes, yeah, it's definitely Scalding Tarn. Because it also gets... We can play one island, and Prismatic Vista and Scalding Tarn will both get the island as well. Tarn doesn't get Temple. What was... Who said it got Temple? I didn't do that. This is, this is the one we want. So is this guy, though. Fuck. Okay, Primeval Titan. It's got to be Primeval Titan, right? Especially with Omnath. All right, we got like four pieces here. And then we're all done. Mm. Steam Vents is great because we can get it with Tarn. Right? Is that how it works? I do like Mana Confluence, but I'd rather not have the damage. Yeah, let's take Steam Vents. We don't have Volcanic Island here. And this is a lot of good blue sources. If we if we add one, one island, then we have one, two, three, four, five blue sources. This is also 21 playables. And I think we're going to be more than capable of getting two more playables. Sun Titan. Oh, God. Do we play Treachery? Oh, God. I love Treachery. Here's the Triplicate Titan. Which is the, the card that was put in here specifically to either, like, tinker into or get with, uh, or get flashed on. I mean, I'm just taking Treachery because it's an unbeatable, ridiculous spell. And I'll assume that we will find one more land to really make it, make it our own. I like Karma Guide. Sarah Paragon is neat. It also lets you play um, lands from the graveyard, which is great for our Scalding Tarn or our Vista. Sprawl does fix. I was literally thinking that as well. I don't know how many forests we're going to have is the biggest problem. I don't love Tree Speaker because, again, like, I don't think... Adding double green doesn't help us as much as I want it to. I'm just going to take the Paragon. Oh, Raging Ravine. I think Scale Lord might be better than Paragon here. Return target non-land permanent card with mana value X or less from your to the battlefield where X is this creature's power. So if this is a 4-5, we can just start bringing 4 drops back. That actually seems really good. And Caracas came back. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's really good. Holy smokes. Ah, just gonna give myself a little refresh. Can you guys be quiet? You're gonna summon her. Did you see what he just did? <laughs> oh, wow. The Fury came back? That's insane. 
That's definitely a card I was considering. And here it is. Wow, that's wild. I might just play that over Treachery for ease of... Oh, a knight came back? Oh my god, we literally got everything here. Boy, oh boy. Also, these are probably two of the best one-mana dorks we could ask for in this. Ren and Realm Breaker actually seems amazing for us. Kurt, I'll see you later, buddy. Uh, at least Spellbinder seems fine. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay. I believe you. Sure, don't care about either of those. Stormy Ricks. Storm Ricks, have a have a good afternoon, buddy. Mine collapse. That's mine collapse, buddy. Yeah, I want I want to keep treachery out. I think it's a little bit greedy. And we gotta make three cuts here. Wow. Savine's like reclamation actually gets so much better with like we can we can channel touch the spirit realm <coughs> to blink one of our creatures. Like Knight of Autumn or uh I guess the Primeval Titan, Fury. <clears throat> but then also we can get it back with Savine's Reclamation. We can get Apparition back. We can get, uh, it's not, it's, it's, yeah, it seems really good. It's non creature It's not land permanent, right? Oh, it's just any permanent. We can even get a fetch land if we really need it. That's wild. That's, that's pretty good. I'm going to take Knight out. I don't love Knight. I really don't. Um, I'm probably going to take Sarah Paragon out. Actually, it's probably better than Sigarda here, right? I don't know. Other permanents having... Having Hexproof is pretty good. The problem is, I don't think we have any other humans or angels, so we're not really taking advantage of that. <clears throat> it is a 4-4 four, four versus a 3-4. But being able to play lands like this, this is also really good. I think we can probably sideboard the run for now. Yeah, nice. Zol, we're on the same page. I'm feeling you. I think Fiery Confluence is just absolute bananas. Um, I think it's always good. Yeah, a 4 flyer is great, but this is just a four, the 3 4 flyer that, like, gives you so much play. Like, just being able to cast any of these from the graveyard. I mean, obviously, except for Reclamation, but still, like, playing Planeswalker, Knight of Autumn. Yeah, I think cutting Sigarda is totally fine here. And I think we play every one of these lands. So, we're going to add one island, I believe, for Prismatic Vista to find. Maybe? If we don't add that, we have one, two three blue sources. If we added it, we go up to five. I think that's worth it. And that's what they're suggesting as well. Okay, let's sort by color. This is going to be rough because there's a bunch of a bunch of bunch of gold boys. Okay, these three cancel each other out in terms of these three. And then this guy's going to be over here. So this isn't too bad. Okay. So we definitely have the most white. But we want green on turn one. All right, let's see what we got here. Talisman of Unity and Conviction. These are, one of these is white red. Yep, and this is white green. Sure. Okay, so green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tempted to go to nine because we do want one of these on turn one. And we do have a library on turn two. With you playing in the background and now she thinks I have an unhealthy addiction. I don't think that's true. Okay, hold on. Three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can easily go to ten there. Probably go to nine, to be honest with you. 
Uh, red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna add another. F that's so many. That's so many forests though. Three, four, five, six, seven. Four forests is a lot. It might just be another plains. Yeah, let's just do that. Three. And if we just don't draw enough, <clears throat> the problem is I just don't want to draw that many forests. <clears throat> like I'd rather draw one forest, one plains than two forests. So. Also very tempted to play this. And this. And this. Our sideboard's very good. Even this is good. Just five damage. Like, we could play this, this, this. Both of these are playable. This, 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 this. And now we wait. Oh, we did it. Look at that. Look at us go. <clears throat> okay. See, this is decent. Got all our colors except for the blue, which is totally fine. We don't have a second green here. So let's see if, if that ends up hurting us. But we should probably restart too. You know how it goes. Okay. Oh no. Oh, they made a little crab. I like that the crab doesn't have a defender. They're like, you know what? If you can pump it, knock yourself out. Attack with it. It also lets you fall in Shinobi. <clears throat> Which is interesting, because it's in a Modern Horizon set, just like Fallen Shinobi. So, maybe they're like, you know what? Let's allow this little crab to live his dream. Live your dream, Karabathy. Oh shit, we're we're pyretic rich we're ritual in here. Oh god, we're manamorphos in here. Narset. Fascinating. <clears throat> When they hit dig, it's pretty good. I mean, we're definitely going to play Skyclave Apparition here. Ooh, I like a Sylvan Library, though. I also like a Paragon. But I don't want to not be able to draw more cards, so Sylvan Library doesn't even do anything until we get uh, a little Skyclave down, you know? Skyclave Apparition just hits so many things, and the fact that they don't get it back if they kill the Apparition is just wild to me. they kill this we just get to play paragon i would love to get like prismatic v stare or, or scalding tarn here god everybody everybody's playing top 
Colonnade's not bad. We can play our, our Paragon and Colonnade. <clears throat> Next turn we get to escape to the wilds if we want. No attacks. Also, Rona with dig through time is pretty solid. Just feed that feed that yard. Oh boy. Are we dead? We might be dead. Fascinating. That actually works for me. I got a Sarah Paragon. Ooh, Fiery Confluence and Fury? Well, I can Fiery Confluence if I need, or I can Fury if we need to here. <clears throat> And they might just they might just dig here. Hmm. Well, I probably want to kill Oh, they discarded dig. Smart. I guess they don't dig here. I guess that's true, they will of fortune, so <laughs> they couldn't do both, presumably. Well, they only have one free mana. I'm tempted to Fury this, but I think we can... I don't think we're super concerned right now because one mana. Okay, well, that is more mana. Oof, they're, they're they're living the dream right now. Wait, did they not untap lands? What just happened? Did they miss untapping lands? Because that's pretty good for us. All right, you got it. Crabathy lives again. Um, All right, let's see if that does anything. <clears throat> I'm F6ing here. I have no responses to any shenanigans. Time Twister, okay. Well, I can't do anything about these things. I can, however, attack for eight next turn. Not having a graveyard makes me sad, though, because I have a Birds of Paradise in hand. Or, uh, Savine's Reclamation in hand. Rona comes back. Three, four, five, six. Do we just play Primeval Titan here? Can't kill top. We can kill the clue token. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven total mana. I would love to get rid of this. I think it's just Primeval Titan. Can we just actually do we have a we don't have a blue source though? Otherwise we could deal six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, put them to five. <clears throat> I 
I mean, I'm very tempted to just kill their clue token. Three, four, five, six, six mana. Could wilds, but that doesn't, or escape to the that doesn't do anything. I think it's just primeval titan. I mean, it's it's lethal on board. We could also just play Bird and Knight of Autumn and kill this. That's good too. I mean, they don't. We don't kill this. They'd probably just put it on top of their library. But I think that's kind of obnoxious for them. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see if that does anything. It's still lethal on board, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, sure. I mean, because then that's your draw, so. All right. <clears throat> so now we have Top and Rona and six other cards. Five other cards. Four other cards. Three other cards. You have three mana floating, so they can crack this for two, still have four mana to play whatever they get. Tendrils doesn't do it. Brain Freeze doesn't do it here. Mind's Desire isn't castable yet. Okay, there it's seven. Good grief. Any order's fine. Well, you have a lightning bolt. <clears throat> so they have three mana. Okay. And these guys are gone. Sure. So they have Wheel of Fortune. Okay, they have Wheel of Fortune and Time Twister. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune got shuffled back in. So we know about those. Those two draw sevens. This is just a mine. Mine's, uh, this is just a tendrils for six. For each card in my hand. Might as well, might as well give you less mana. Watch that! Watch! I gave them the exact amount to storm. Oh no! What have I done? Mm, we'll see. <clears throat> Bolus's Citadel. Well, being at four actually puts us in. That's not. That's not terrible. Oh, what? <laughs> what? All right. All right. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Okay. So, what do we take out here?
Uh, late Spellbinder seems great. We can take out Lightning Bolt and Winds of Abandon. Actually, Lightning Bolt seems good. It kills all of their, like, relevant creatures like Rona. It also does hit an R-set. I think that's probably the only super rel like we didn't see a win con other than Bolas's Citadel. I don't know why we'd cut this. We have plenty of like ways to get it out right reasonably better. We spent like birds halfling to um like also I have to have something reasonable to put in, which I don't think there's anything really better than that I mean maybe Thrun yeah that seems fine I could see Sigarda coming in too just as another blank body that uh this seems pretty good That's Caracas in case you want to do the, the turn two Rona or Baral. Early breathers. <laughs> oh, see, that's funny. You got it. Fourth Aerolingus for two next turn or Elite Spellbinder seems really good. If we hit a green, we could go Spellbinder into Halfling. We might just Fiery Confluence that. That's interesting. Is it Aerolingus here? I mean, how, like this just gets better next turn. We can add two more. Because every extra mana you add here is another 2-2, two, two, which is insane. Like, two extra mana is four extra power. We could also just kill this and deal them, steal them four. Now, let's put the body on the board. Counterspell, Metamorph, Duretti. Okay, so you got Counterspell mana. That's pretty rough. If they Metamorph, they just take one of our cards, which is brutal. I think we want the Metamorph. That's a good that's a good series of cards they got in their hand. For sure. So we took Metamorph. Beautiful. Yeah, if I knew they had a counterspell, I probably would have fiery confluence and just kill this in the next turn fourth for three, which still seems really good. But they would have still had Counterspell, and they would have had nothing to play, because they'd only have three mana. I guess they had four mana, so they could have been tempted to Duretti. You got it. They're gonna... Ooh. If they take Fiery Confluence, it's fine, because we have fourth. Actually, we can still cast Fiery Confluence, kill both of these, and deal them two? That seems really good. What land do they play? Mountain? Got it. A sky breather. <laughs> uh. Fourth.
Okay. Well, cast <clears throat> destroy an artifact, deal two damage to each opponent. Brutal. So this costs two more, so it costs base of four. One, two, three, four. So next turn we can do it for three, which is still six power. That's lethal. Okay. How am I losing viewers when this is such compelling gameplay? I don't understand. That might be that might be their death. Oh no, because we have to tap this one, right? One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, they they go to they go to one. That's still not great for him. Duretti and Watery Grave. Water Grave. So we need to have counterspell. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, donezo. Don't daze me, bro. Probably going to kill already. We got the GGs. Uh, attack the Rattini. Attack you. Attack you. Attack the Rattini. And with a monarch, beautiful. Give me a give me a card. Oh, weird. That's wild. Well, if they play a Baral, we're definitely going to Fury it. Well, we're hoping to avoid them comboing this turn, because they did say good game. However, it was, in fact, the end of the game. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I don't know what we're up against, but... Oh, what up, Brian? I want to lead with Caracas here. We don't know if it's going to be super relevant. I'd rather just have the... Oh my god. Goodness gracious, what have I done? Mistakes were made. Now they get a free attack. What an idiot. Play him again. Play him as a man. <clears throat> You got it. Big Shreddy. Check it and see. Tempted to bounce this guy. Keep Caracas up. By bounce, I mean wins because we're just turning it into a land. And then next turn we can play Minsk and Boo. I 
I really don't like giving them lands this early in the game, though. I also feel like Fiery Confluence takes care of several things. This is, we'll see. We'll see what happens if they play two spells. They probably do because they got Ragavan. Dashing. But I can still bounce it. Fascinating. Well, I will take one. And then they replay Raggles, sure. Oh, if they hit a if they just pitch a land, that'd be great. A spell. Wonderful. Mm, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, huh? Uh -huh. Well, beauty booties. We can play Fable. Get a blocker for Ragavan and also just keep Caracas up. That seems fine. Fourth Eurolingus, fucking knew it. <laughs> that's, that's good. That is a good one. I mean, we're just going to wipe the board here. So I might as well take two. Actually, getting the treasure seems way more relevant here. And now I'm not even going to bounce because, you know, the board. Yes. Let's pitch these two, and we're going to hit a land here. Perfect. Perfect! Um, so I can actually bounce this guy, kill everything, and become the monarch too, which is kind of cool. Because otherwise we don't get to hit this guy. All right. We should have done it last turn, but it doesn't really matter here. Hmm. They do get to dash their monkey in. Yeah, so like we could have had this up again and they just never get to hit. This is like twice I've messed up with, with Caracas because I just didn't plan for Ragavan. But you live and learn. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they still they would have Ledger Shredder up anyway, so like we're just gonna keep going back and forth with the Did I play land? I did play the island, didn't I? I would have to do that to play Omni. I guess I wouldn't. I think it's just Omnath here. That's not bad. I don't want to get rid of Fiery Confluence, though. Hmm. Well, see you later. How do we get rid of that? Oh boy. <laughs> well, isn't that funny? Let's 
to get rid of Confluence this time. Well, this was hard to avoid here, but... Oh wait, we don't need to take the damage for that. We can just do this. Make that a white. And get rid of this idiot. And now we're the monarch and we have two two twos. So that seems pretty okay. That's also not bad. <laughs> I will easily trade for the monkey here. If you want to dash it in real quick. Okay. This feels better for us than it does for them. Uh I think it's I think it's stomping even though it puts us to 4. I guess it's, I think it's stomping and we just don't play um, Minsk and Boo here. I don't really want to go to four, I'll be honest. I do want to go green, white, Sylvan Library. Draw another card, sure. And we drop Lightning Bolt in case they want to dash their monkey, which looks like the do. <laughs> you got it. And let's see what we're hitting here. I'm glad it halfling seems good. Um just put three counters on to one target creature with tr with trample or haste. Um yeah, we're just gonna put on top, put on top. Play this. Play Minsk and Binsk. Minskulls and Binskulls. Yes. Oh, we just won the game. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, our deck seems sweet. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we need anything particularly here. We will. We will run Caracas out on turn one if we have it. And we do. Yeah, this is a good hand. Yeah, I'm like, I have a creature that just makes me a treasure token every turn. And I have enough removal in my hand to kill all your guys, so... Look at me. I am the monarch. So I think we just play Wall of Omens here, actually. This is a turn three Omnath. Yeah, this feels okay. And then we just gain infinite life. And we can just play both of these on turn four. Now do we want to not get our stuff can You know what? No gamble, no future. You know what I mean? White, blue. Oh, no. I knew it was reprieve. I was like, yes, you're just going to return it to my hand. Fantastic. Then next turn I can replay it and gain four. Gone, but not forgotten. What is this? What is this you're doing? Fourth for two? Looks like a fourth for two. 
Fiery Confluence. Interesting. That doesn't seem great. But all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. One island and they daze it. Sure. That is a good one. Guess we're taking two. Man, that Omnath really had a problem. Um... Let's go wall here first, because we want to be able to have more cards to discard. Oh, Delighted Halfling is fascinating. I don't think it's fascinating enough to just play over a <laughs> fable. Yeah, being able to pitch two things here is good. Man, if only we had a Halfling, we could have played Omnath and it was it'd be uncounterable. Now we know they have days, so we can work around that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I would have just played Bone Crusher there, probably. Fascinating. Um, yes. I think it's Halfling and probably... We have double red, double white, double green, and a blue. I think we can get rid of Vista. But Vista costs one life. This costs two. I think we're going to get rid of Temple Garden here. Um, I think we just play... Primeval Titan, right? Let's guess we're going to get a white here so we can keep our... Uh, actually, no, we got the island. Yeah, we can just get a this guy. And we'll get Stomping Ground and probably other island. No. Man, if only this was four or less, then we can cast our Omnath from the graveyard. Wouldn't that be a, a time? You got it. Two mana. God. Yep. I think we're going to lose to this Chandra, unfortunately. Yep. So good. If only we had a Celestial Colonnade in play. Yeah, none of these cards do anything against Chandra Emblem. So that's unfortunate. <sighs> Why don't you have haste reflection of Kiki Jiki? Can we win before they cast two spells? That's the question. This isn't legendary. That's pretty wild. Mm. Can we untap anything? No. This is terrible. This feels so bad. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game.
I wouldn't have done anything either. All right. Well, I think at least maybe elite spellbinder should just be in the deck. Over Sabine's Reclamation, I guess. Actually, over Ren and Realm Breaker. Reclamation actually seems decent. Actually, maybe Thrun should be too. Maybe it is Thrun over Primeval Titan. Let's do that. I kind of like Sigarda here over Sarah Paragon too. Like, just having bigger creatures feels better than not having bigger... Uh, we'll, actually, we'll take Escape out and we'll put uh, Sarah Paragon back in. Yeah, I'd rather have another 4-drop creature with two two Signets and two, two mana guys. So it lowers our curve quite a bit. I'm going to take Wall out for figure, too. Maybe I can just pump that guy and make him huge. We're just going to get him a little more aggressive here. <laughs> Resubmit like four times. Even Mind Collapse might be... Wait, where'd it go? What? I put what back? Everything's good. I put the tight. I put it back in the sideboard. What are you saying right now, Thymos? There's two Titans here, Primeval and Titan of Industry. They're both in the sideboard. I hope we submit it. I click submit, right? I'm I'm clicking it now, so I just want to make sure like I'm not the one that's like they're waiting on and then my deck gets messed up as I like they're waiting on me. Now we're still waiting. Also, I think Thrun and Cigar to make Delighted Halfling better because they're both legendary, so. Oh boy, what's happening right now? Did something did something crash? Cause I'm sitting here doing everything right and the chat is still going, so. <laughs> Do I restart? Well, league details are still there. I don't know what's going on. It says they left the game, but that, I think that just means that they left. But it doesn't say I left the game, so I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I guess we'll restart. Uh, unable to join Q current match. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, we are in the game. I will play first. I don't see anything that's, that's incorrect yet. I would love a, I'd love a talisman of red, the red, white talisman. Give me one of those or a Tyga so we can play this guy on two and then like, 
quickly run out fourth. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be a Ragavan. It's going to be the one game we don't have Paracas. Nope. Okay. Pondero. The old Ponderosa. All right. That is the green source we're looking for. I would fourth for one, I think, if they don't have any pressure and it lets us get uh, the monarchy. Especially with the winds, because we can take care of like a leather, ledger shredder here. Oh, let's see, what we hit. So none of these are super exciting. We probably just want plateau, I guess. Or we can just play a 4 4. I mean, we probably want to save that until they have something. What do they have, though? They don't have a ton of targets, right? We could also just play it. We could also just draw an extra card and play this as a as a two one. Oh, leyline binding is a great a great uh, target. So we'll put you on top. Put you on top. Play this. Do I just play fourth for one here, and they and then we get dazed? That seems not great. Don't daze me, bro. Oh, to the face. They're like, I'm going to cast this guy next turn, so you better, better be ready. They didn't cast it. Well, now I'm glad we saved our guy, so that's cool. And they also didn't kill... Like, that's this is an interesting choice. Come on, Delighted Halfling. Well, biscuits. Um, put on top. Do we want to draw one? Or do we just play Omnath here? I think we just save this, put this on top, play Omnath next turn. Also, if we trade... We just get the Sarah Paragon at back, and we also get the Sarah Paragon Scalding Tarns. So hopefully this game is good. Fourth Aerolingus. Yep. They always got it. Interesting. This is an easy trade. Do we think they have days? I don't know. Probably. These guys don't have Vigilance, huh? That's sad. Well, we're definitely putting these two back and shuffling them back in, I think. We'll play this. White, red, green, blue. Save the Ami for your mommy. Pretty sure I boarded this out, so that's cool. That's frustrating. Hmm. 
Yep, that's cool. So just didn't submit my sideboard. Oh yeah, I guess I can just check, right? Um, yep, there's Thrun. There's Sigarda. Figure of Destiny. Like all the cards I've ordered are still in there. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna submit another refund because that's really frustrating when I lose game three because my sideboard doesn't work. <sighs> I don't know if it's possible, but if someone can go back and clip me sideboarding along with the time running out, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know if you can go back that far, but like, I'd love to have a link of that. It's at 333 into the draft, so probably close to... God, how long is this? When did this game start? Uh, turn two, turn one... Probably around 4.50, so that's seven minutes ago, so probably around 3.30, 3.25. Hold on, let me close this real quick. Make sure this pops up in the right place. Uh, 3.25, 3.25 into stream to get sideboard error. So we still think they have days, right? It's really frustrating to play around days. We could actually play Sarah. Oh, ooh, touch the, touch the, touch the realm. Put on top, put on top. One, two, three, four. Sarah Paragonos. Big Sigs size. We're going to do this and try to play another land and wipe their board. Ooh, baby, that was good. <laughs> oh, butter my biscuits. Wait, what? Does it... It's just... Wait, what? How does that work? Each opponent in the Planeswalker. Oh, God. I thought it was creatures, too. That's not as good. Well, shooty booties. We can keep touch up. But they're just going to block here, right? That doesn't seem great for us. Let's play this. See if they daze it. And then we can play birds too. Yeah, okay. That seems good. Getting back Knight of Autumn seems pretty good, too, so. Setting up for that fat fourth. You guys having a fat fourth? Ah, oh, Snapcaster for fourth Aerolingus. Three more two twos. Ponder. That's less exciting, but it's still fine, I guess. Sometimes you need one card, you know. We have nine mana, so that's pretty good. We can fourth for six. Uh, that's pretty decent. Man, I could have sworn Omnath dealt four damage to their creatures, too. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? That would have been unbelievable. 
I guess that's too good, but you're going to play three lands a turn for it, you know? No attacks, huh? Did they choose to shuffle or no shuffle? They chose not to shuffle. They were like, I like these options. I guess I should just kept the land, right? That's a free card. Oh, I guess I can pay four to keep Wall of Omens and then play the land as well. So we'll just do that. So one, two, three. This beautiful guy. Can I play this flying man? Coming to get your little hand. Treachery. Fiery Confluence. Reprieve. So they don't have days. They never had days. Fascinating. Treachery's good, right? I Oh, I didn't mean to take that. I was just moving the cards in the hand, so that's unfortunate. Mm, boy. Um, so let's go Wall of Omens here. Oh, we have four minutes that are 14. Wow, that's brutal. Not sure why that is. We're probably going to lose on time now. Eh, I might as well do this guy, right? For a little sky claver. Sure, get rid of this idiot. Got resto, sure. Get a little resto out there. Hmm. Yep, sure. I guess we're just not attacking here. Yeah, this is fine. I think I don't think we're going to win this game in four minutes. I actually have no idea how long our... I'm going to cast wins next turn. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four... We have to hope their their one white gets tapped for reprieve. So they played an island, which we didn't know about. They played that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And a treachery is gone. Seven for big treach. Oh no! Oh god, I was gonna blink it in response. Fuck! I didn't see it targeting on the stack. Oh, I guess we can still do that now, right? God, I wish they didn't get the trigger, though. I think that would have just been game. We would have actually just murdered them if, if they didn't get to untap. Fuck, that's annoying. Oh, man, that would have been so good. We just wins them and attack for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a million... I guess it's still good. We just got to play quick. We also get to just cast touch from the graveyard too and attack for six here. All right, so that's gone. So this is the five we know about, sure. All right, let's play like we mean it. Uh, put on top, put on top. Cool. Crack this. Get a planes, I guess. Make that mana. This is basically free. Cast us overload. One, 
two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna have six here. They're at three, so I feel like we've we've crushed this. So we know they have what do they play? Plateau. Uh, so we know they have these four, and I guess they played a plan. Oh, they search for all that. So yeah, they can fire here and get rid of these two. Doesn't seem great. We also have fourth arrow lingus, so. I don't know why it's not F6. F6 here, I don't need your. They might just do that. Settle is not in the cube, no. I'm feeling anxious because I got two minutes and 44 seconds here, so. Yep, figured you'd do this. Not sure how that... I don't think that does anything, especially when we got the the Lingus. Like, both of these guys are lethal. And we got the Lingus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's over. Quit saying lingus. <laughs> That's what we got, though. We got the lingus. Are they going to tap out for something silly? That's not going to have any impact? Yes, they are. Beautiful. So you're tapped out? Got it. Mm, top. Top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do it. The Lingus. We threw that fat Lingus. <laughs> Sorry, babe. So they go to six and they block two. And then they take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Seems good. Everybody's got the lingus. <laughs> yep, you got it. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to jump into this game real quick. I got 20 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't take longer than that. Am I right? <laughs> oh dear. Dimitri, have a good night, buddy. Put me on in your on your iPhone and your AirPods, you know. See you later, Brian. Oh god, his always control matchup would be brutal.
Man, you ain't kidding. The Lingus wins, though, you know? The Lingus. We had the Lingus. We made our opponent feel the Lingus. <laughs> she hates me. Yes. Uh, yep, keep sure. Okay, now we're not going to play Caracas on one because that's just silly, right? Don't be ridiculous. I think playing it on turn one also lets your opponent play around it. Whereas like if they go get a Gristle Brand or like a Shielded or something, I want to be able to not let them know about this so that they waste their resources to do that. This is going to get us a probably a Taiga, maybe a Stomping Ground. Probably a Taiga. He's a nice to play against you. See, that seems legit. That seems friendly. Then we did go to six. This is going to take forever. I got like, I got like 18 minutes before I have a meeting to go to. So this is not going to go well. I should have just saved this for Omnath maybe, but I need a second green uh, or red source or a second blue or red source. So well, yeah, and I will get stomping ground since it's going to be an untapped or tapped or, you know, whatever. Oh, Plateau. I'll yield until the end step. And then we'll just pass. Card I can cast? Maybe? No. Not a card I can cast. So now we'll crack us here, because maybe they play a 3-drop that's threatening to us. That's a thing. Oh dear. Oh, that doesn't do anything, but all right. Interesting. That could be good. You get a land back, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not very good. Uh, one, two, three, four. We'll just play this guy. Mm. Okay, this is going well, I guess. Oh, that's a good one. That's a beautiful baby boy. I'm going to keep the Scalding Tarn in my graveyard because I don't really want to, like... One, two, three, four, five. Got a land here. We do, and a bird. Wow, that's a good hit. Oh, next turn we're going to fourth for a million. We're going to give him the Lingus again. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm giving so many people the Lingus. I know it's supposed to be special between you and I, and I'm supposed to, I was supposed to save my lingus for marriage, but they really deserve it, you know? And that's the problem. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a, this is a lingus for six. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. So maybe this is going to go well. <laughs> Alrighty then. It's going to be real hard to, to ask for compensation when I win the draft, you know. That's getting ahead of ourselves. Um, I think Elite Spellbinder should just be in the deck. I think this was probably better than Savine's Reclamation, perhaps. I also do like Sigarda. It's just a four mana beater lady. Plus, we do have Guardian Scale Lord and uh, Sarah Paragon to do a similar effect. Also, let's get rid of the Wall of Omens and bring in, like... What? Wait. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, is it not submitting again? What? Oh, I'm so tired of sideboarding. One land, huh? Oh, I don't like that. We're going to mulligan. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good boy. We'll put the scale lord back. It's a little expensive, but yeah, just a beater lady, you know. Yeah, when you cast the lingus from exile, it's just way more. It's just better, you know. Give me a one mana creature that I can cast this turn. That's gonna make me. Damn it. 
Ugh, God. Why do they treat me like this? You should take a break and come back and stream later. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Unbelievable. Okay, well we get a we get a Sylvan library, I guess. That's something. What's up, Wallace Ray? Don't you dare take a break. That you're still telling me what to do. Uh, whenever you tell someone not to tell you what to do, they tell you to do the opposite because they want to like take it back, but then they're still telling you what to do. So really. Oh shit, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's not as good. Oh, we can bounce their little hammy boy. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, I'm going to take, okay, we're going to put this on top. And then we're going to pay for to keep that. We're going to play this and wall of Schmomans. So what's the break point between fat lingus and a regular one? I'd say X equals six counts as a nice fat one. I agree. All right, while we're in their upkeep where we pass the point of them being able to make a new one, now we're just gonna bounce their boo. So they can't activate it in sack and draw four. That's really, God, Caracas is such a beating dude. Okay, they tootin'. For a twisty, actually my hand is terrible, so that's totally fine. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, this is, this is, this is something. Oh dear. Okay, they're, they're getting a lot of lands here. Okay. If they play anything that has four or less, four or more toughness, four or less toughness, we can fury it and then also fourth for two. Oh, wow, we're twisting as well. All right, now our options are less. This hand is worse than, than what it was, but that's, on, that's a thing, I guess. They are just going ham with fast bond, time twister, and wheel of fortune. Well... Mishra's workshop in Talarian Academy, and I've only seen Sensei's Divining Top. All right, that's a thing, I guess. Oh my god, they're just going to kill themselves. Well, we're definitely killing the chariot. Oh boy. My kingdom for a, a fiery confluence copied. Fourth arrow lingus again. <laughs> Get that lingus. Oh, and a lightning bolt. Fascinating. Okay. Um, put on top. Pay four to keep. Let's play. We need white, red, and then red. Actually, I don't think we have enough mana to do everything we want to do, so I don't know why I paid for that. It doesn't matter, I guess, but still. Um, one, two, three. And I should have kept this up because I can play Bird. Oh my god, I'm just playing like terribly. I also have three cards in hand. What are you doing? What is this you're doing? Making a thing? Sure. All 
All right. Well, we're keeping lightning bolt up, but we probably should have maybe played a bird. I don't know. I feel like we're quite far behind here. I want to kill the creature they try to put counters on. They have a lot of mana, but what can they do? A lot, I guess. This is hard to... <sighs> Might just go to game three. Uh, put three counters on the boo-boo. That'll do. That's all I need to see. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. Love to love to actually bring the cards in that I wanted bring, to bring in. Let's try Elite Spellbinder. That's a good one. Figure of Destiny over Wall of Omens. That guy would have been getting some beats in. Uh, Mind Collapse actually feels pretty good against like Minsk. Take out Ren and Realm Breaker. You're kind of poop. All right, submit. Maybe thrown over Titan again. Submit again. Double submit. Like, I just feel like their deck's not very aggressive and ours can be, so. I took Ren out. It's already out. It's already gone. I might take this out for the for the Sigarda. I feel like it's been rare that we've had birds or delighted halfling or talismans into like a four drop, which we have quite a few of. Maybe it's maybe it's been fine. I don't know. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, be sure to follow or subscribe. Really, really helpful. Really, really appreciate it. And check out HelloFresh. You get 50% off your first box along with free shipping. It's a, it's a superior meal delivery service. Everyone who's tried it has loved it. We've loved it. And, um, it's a great way to support the channel. I get a significant kickback from them. So if you wanted to donate like two subs, which is 10 bucks, take that, go to HelloFresh instead, use my promo code and my, and my link and order from them instead. You get something and I get a significant kickback. So it's a great way to support the channel and HelloFresh is a generous sponsor. So definitely check them out. Have a good rest of the day. MTG Packrat. Have a, have a good afternoon, buddy. Okay, we submitted again. Is it did it is it like doing it again? Okay, thank goodness. I like literally don't know if it's <sighs> Mulligan. Yeah, this is this is actually really good. All right. What are we putting back? Um we want to get a green source with this, which means probably Taiga. Uh, so we're putting back Mountain. All right, we did it. Now we get to play Spellbinder on two, which is pretty cool. Retrofitter Foundry. Fitting those retros. Oh, delighted. Or we can go Talisman into Halfling, but I don't think that's correct. Show me what you've got. One land. Balance Minsk Outcomes Sahelian Time Twister. I think we want to get rid of the Twister here. I don't care about this. Actually, balance is probably pretty rough, right? Yeah, we'll take your balance. Like, if they get one white source, balance is actually, like, just kill two creatures. <laughs> All right, so we got that. You drew a top, sure. Interesting. Are they just going to activate top? No. They're like, I'll wait. Hmm. 
Well, they need four mana for top. One of them has to be white, but wiping our whole board of creatures is pretty bad. We don't have balance. Balance is here. So this is their hand. They're just gonna, we're going to twist here. I'd twist. I think we're twisting. No, we're Sahelian. Interesting. Um, okay. So let's play that. One, two, three, four. Play you. Cast by sacking a mountain. And then we can just get that the land back in the future, so. So Sahili's gone. Oh, they drew another land. So now they have Paradoxical, Minsk and Boo, and Time Twister, but they can only cast two of those. Well, let's hit him for 10, I guess. Outcome to return top and retro for the foundry. Yep. Did I board out Lightning Bolt? I don't think so. So now they don't have that, but they have top, retrofitter, foundry, and three other cards that we don't know about. Two other cards. There goes top. Draw a card. Balance. We should have played Scalding Tarn instead. That's going to be a mistake here. However, they'd have to pitch four cards and they lose two lands, which is pretty good. Hello. Yeah, if we hit a blue source, we're okay, but we don't have that many. So I should have got Scalding Turn to get like a Steam Vent instead of the Taiga. But they do get to keep one card, which is likely going to be Time Twister. They're waiting for them. So I think they just don't realize that it's on them right now. Or they're just choosing their lands, sure. Sacrifice all creatures. Done. All right. They got rid of Twister, so they have Minsk and Boo? Oh, that's pretty good. Figure of Destiny is not bad. One, two. I guess we have to do it once, right? That's how figure works. I can play this. Yes, blue, red. I'm just naming colors. None of these are accurate. So if we hit actually any white or red land, we just get to kill them with Figure of Destiny. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh my god, did we just win because they balanced and they couldn't cast the last card in their hand? That's exciting. What timing. 5.30 exactly. Thank you guys for watching. Two three us today, that's pretty sweet. Be sure to follow and subscribe. And, uh, you know, do the things on YouTube. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, whatever you got. And check out HelloFresh. It's a great way to support the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.